morning everybody good morning i don't know why it seems so dark good morning let's see here uh, i don't know maybe that makes it a little better yeah that's a little better good morning everybody oh my goodness <laughs> my weekend has been spectacular it has been spectacular so um good morning miss Yes, 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 yes. Good morning. Good morning, Victoria. Good morning, Tamika. I miss you, girl. Um, good morning. Good morning, Reynard. So we are here and people are chiming in and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because like I said a few weeks ago, I'm going to do this every morning at 10 a.m. That's what God placed in my spirit, on my heart. So, you know, we're going to run on and see what the end's going to be. So I say good morning. And as I do every Monday morning, we're going to open up with prayer. And y'all, you know, anybody that don't know you, you're a very energetic toddler in the background, but we're going to still do what they say the Lord. So just count her watching her favorite movie this morning as love. So here we go. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this morning. I thank you for rising in my right mind and my right health. Um, I thank you for strength. Lord, whatever it is that it is intended to go across the airwaves, across the world today, Father, I pray that you use me wholeheartedly. Remove Shanta so that they can see the glory in you and understand that all things work together through the good of just being, relying, and just living through you, God. All these blessings we ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. So here we go. Um, I hope everybody had a blessed weekend. Um, I did. Last week was um, a trying week for us. I had a daughter to go through a pretty major surgery. And the day after the surgery, she had a setback. And um, But I thank God that I know the power of prayer. And um, as she was struggling to breathe, all I could do was walk and pray. You know, God had me doing different things as the EMS arrived and um, as the fire department arrived. And so, of, of course, it was crazy in here. Um, but I thank God that I have a relationship with him. And it is just not about calling on his name, but that I know he hears me, you know, and she is doing so much better. Um, it was scary. But once again, I thank God that I know him, that I love him and that he loves me. Um, so that has been my week. I pray that everybody's week has been productive. And, and here we are, we're at the beginning of another week. And this is what God gave, uh, gave me to give you this morning now. And I want to say again, I welcome anybody that wants to chime in and share their perspective of what it is that God has me saying to his people this morning, because I believe that we grow, you know, through other people's perspective. Now, other people's perspective is not always going to be the boat that floats for you, but you never know, you know, if you allow yourself to um, hear them, entertain it, God will let you know whether or not that thing or that perspective is for you. So um, please, I say again, um, chime in, chime in. You know, I welcome the feedback. I welcome the joining me on live. And everybody let me know if you can hear me okay. This is the third week. I know the first week I had a problem with the volume. The second week I had a problem with the signal. So just every now and then let me know that that we're good. Um, so here we go. Um, the topic this morning was, can you handle it? You know, and just ask yourself that. Can you handle it? Well, what are you talking about? Whatever it is that God throws away, whatever it is that he allows to come your way, can you handle it? So many times we are wanting um, the glorious life that we see other people living and walking in, but can you handle it? You know, if God was to put the responsibility in the palm of your hand that he placed in the palm of the hand of the person that you're admiring, can you handle it or will you drop the ball? You know, and, and too many times, I, and, and I always talk about being honest with ourselves, <clears throat> everybody has a different level of capacity to take and deal and handle whatever it is that, you know, God has called for us to do on this journey in our life. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of people and I go, oh my goodness, their life is fabulous. But then when I get a, a sneak peek at everything that they have to deal with day in, day out, communications, um, just just keeping everything together. You know, I remind myself, okay, Shanta, stay in your lane. Because see, in my lane, I can master that. 
But if I'm too busy wanting what else someone else has, the question is, okay, I can want that. I can desire that. God says he'll give me the desires of my heart, but can I handle it? You know, that's the key thing. And can you make the little that you have work? You know, a lot of people see the glory, the finish line, but it doesn't start out that way. The bank account doesn't start out with a whole bunch of zeros. You know, a lot of times it start out at zero. You know, it's a dream. God plants the seed on the inside of you. So then what do you do with it? Do you sit around and are you upset because nobody is investing in your idea? Are you upset because someone else doesn't see and or understand why you're so passionate about the thing that God gave you to birth? There we go again. It's your baby. So we can't expect anybody else to take and take on the responsibility of delivering our baby. I remember when um, several years ago and a lot of people, you know, know my story. And a lot of people don't. I'm an open book. I believe I'm supposed to be an open book to be able to bless and elevate, you know, God's people. And I remember I went through a period in my life where, you know, a lot of people know that I overcame, a, you know, by the grace of God, a rare bone disease as a little girl. And there were so many physical limitations that were set on my life. But because of the people uh, in my family and the don't give up spirit, you know, that they birthed on the inside of us, I kept going. And every obstacle that man said, good morning, Donna, I love you, sweetheart. Every obstacle that man said that I couldn't achieve, there was something on the inside of me to say watch me just just give me a minute you say that I can't do that but hold on so you have to have that tenacity to keep going when it doesn't look like what you want it to look like you know and so going through those hurdles and overcoming those hurdles young in my life built a tenacity to be able to withstand what it is that God has for me and he's calling for me to do today in my life and you know you fast forward and I went through a period of where I lost everything you know, um, I won't go into details, but I can tell you Shanta didn't do it with her hands. I can tell you that. And I think the hardest trial to go through is when you're someone's target and it seems like they're not satisfied unless you're laying on your face. And I went through that season and, and going through that season, I lost everything. And when I say lost everything, I wound up being homeless, sleeping in my car. And a lot of people didn't know that about me because I don't look like what I've been through. And at the time that I was going through it, I didn't look like it because I knew God and I had a relationship with him. And even when my faith would, you know, get a little weak, God had my mother and my grandmother there, you know, for me to just be able to dial. And, and I thank him for in that season in my life, he kept them here with me. And now that he's called them home to glory, I can stand because here we go again. Someone else's perspective of what it is that I was going through helped me know that it wasn't going to take me out. So I had to be willing to listen, learn and elevate, you know, and go through things. So then now here I sit, you know, and, and the businesses never had an investor, never took out a business loan, you know, had a dream, had a dream and had the tenacity to take and get up and make it happen. So today it was one thing that had to be done, all legal, <laughs> all legal. Tomorrow there was another thing that had to be done. I couldn't be shy in the bold assignment. That's good, guy. I couldn't be shy in the bold assignment that God had given me. So when he opened the door, I had to walk through it. So today the key thing is what is that thing that's on the inside of you? It could be what may seem simple to somebody else. You may be an awesome baker. You may supposed to be cooking some cakes, baking some cakes, baking some donuts. I know I would be a customer. And everybody can't put hallelujah Jesus in those donuts or in those cakes like you. And it may seem minute to someone else, but it's your ticket. You know, so whatever it is, that thing that's on the inside of you that you felt like, okay, I need to do this. I need to do this. Don't sit around and wait on nobody to say, okay, girl, I got your back. Because it's going to be the people that you don't know that are watching you. That is going to plant the seed for you to make it, for you to grow. So can you handle it? Can you handle the assignment as it's being birthed on the inside of you? And can you manifest in the few that you have while anticipating your many? That's a good question. That's a good question. And I tell you what, 
I'm going to put you guys on the spot. Nobody is asking to come in, so I want to hear perspective. Um, can you handle it? And, you know, a lot of people say, well, when you go through different things, um, nobody knows what they can handle. Everybody has a, a different walk. Every, have a, you're absolutely right, which means I need you. I need you to grow. I need to see your perspective and understand, you know what, Shanta, wait a minute. That may not be as bad as it seems. That might actually work for your good if you look at it a different way. So um, I'll give uh, you guys, that's that's my tip at 10. I'll, I'll give you guys about 30 seconds for someone to volunteer to go ahead and just, just discuss with me. I want to hear your perspective because every day, my thing is, Lord, the scripture says, renew thyself daily. And if you know you're the vessel that assists me in my renewing today, I welcome it. I welcome it. Good morning. I welcome it. So, you know, recap, can you handle it? whatever it is that God has placed for you to do. Uh, the demand of leveling up, that's good. That's good. Because you can sit around and you say that you want it and, oh, I wish I could have, would have, as long as you got breath in your body and as long as you got the use of your limbs, get up. Get up and make a move. That means you're further now than you were when you just sitting there wishing you could have, should have, would have. Amen, Jesus. So I look at my now and I look back and I'm, thankful for the trials. I'm thankful for the tribulations. I'm thankful for the growth. You know, my book, a lot of people don't know that I wrote in a book. It's called Tried, Tested, Conquered. That's my life. You know, a lot of people ask me, well, Shanta, what is the book about? Is it fictional? Is, is it, you know, um, scientific? Is it a drunk? Listen, guys, say plain as day, it's a book of parables. And if you think about it, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, four different men went through the same situation, but they all had four different perspectives. And even to this very day, even to this very day, they're teaching us on a daily basis. So what is your, what is your perspective this morning? Let's see here. I am going to, uh, let's see. And I don't know how to do this. Y'all make it hard on me. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. God bless you. And it is such a great um, feeling to see everybody tuning in this morning. I don't care what anybody says. We all want some good. You know what I'm saying? We all want something positive in our lives. We all want... Um, we all want to be better. We all want to be better. And we should want to be better because if we're better, that means that we're growing and God has enlarged our territory, you know, and I'm pressing on these little cameras. He really ain't working. So I think y'all... Um, Y'all done sort of got away from me here. Let's see here. All right. I have messages coming in. I'm trying to figure out. Misty, Misty, do you want to be live this morning? Uh, do you want to be live this morning? Tamika, do you want to join me in the conversation this morning? You guys talk to me uh, as we wind down this 10 for 10. Uh, 10 at 10. And, you know, who knows what door this is going to open? Who knows what being obedient in the realm of the spirit what doors they open, you know, and you can't worry about that because tomorrow is going to take care of itself. Just be obedient in the now. So can you handle it? The demand of leveling up. Can you work with the few that you have by your faith while waiting on the many? Because remember now, he said faithful over a few, then he'll make you ruler over many. He didn't say you sitting and wallowing and complaining in the few, because if he can't trust you to handle and manifest there were those seeds, there were those seeds, plant those seeds in fruitful ground so that they can multiply, then why would he give you the many? So you're going to have to challenge yourself to get what it is that you're trusting and believing God for. I hear a lot of people say, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting on the Lord. Okay, your move. We can wait on God all day long. He gave us breath to get up. He gave us breath to get up, but faith without works is dead. So I love you guys, and I can't get anybody to talk to me this morning. Uh, so I'm going to do this again. I am going to keep doing this, and I pray that, you know, God will take and loose the, loose the tongues, and you guys take and chime in and let me know, you know, I know everybody has gone through a point of having to make a decision of leveling up because you want it different and, you know, having that fear, of, okay, but Lord, can I do that? Because I've been so used to doing it this way. Can I handle that? Or will I mess it up? You never know till you try. 
All right. God bless you all. This is Shanta, my Monday 10 at 10. And I'm going to learn how to uh, put some people on the spot and just bring them on in. Because right now I don't know, but that's that's my lesson for the next week. Because I really, 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 really want to hear your perspective. I really want to hear your perspective um, because I desire to grow as well. I desire to grow as well. I love you guys. Stay focused, stay positive, claim your glorious victory this week. And remember, hey, it's never too late. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. God bless you, and I love you to life.